Hi, it's Steve from EFI Hardware and welcome to our series of short technical videos. Today's video I'd like to talk a little bit more about modifying and upgrading fuel tanks so that they can run EFI. We've done a previous video uh, on our YouTube channel showing the fitment of a late model MRA or modular reserve assembly directly into the tank. This one's a little bit different. Uh, this one we're using the swirl pot out of a, out of a Commodore and we're installing a, a high flow 800 horsepower late model Walbro pump. We've inst installed a bulkhead into the top of the tank to gain access to all the equipment inside. Inside the tank, it's imperative that the right components are used. For a start, we'll go about the uh, choice of hose. There is a difference between regular EFI hose and in-tank hose. Normal EFI hose has a different outer braid to the inner braid. And if you use the regular exterior type hose, it swells up like a sponge and the clamps lose their, their clamping ability and the hose inevitably falls off the fittings inside. So make sure you use good quality in-tank hose that's specified for in-tank use. Another important one is the choice of wire that you use. In this particular case, we're using Tefcel wire. Also, Ray can make a good quality mil-spec wire that is not deteriorated in fuel at all. If you use the wrong type PVC coated wire, it becomes brittle and cracks and you can often get shorting occur. So the choice of wire is extremely important. Also the type of heat shrink, if you're using heat shrink, has to be DR25 or similar rated to survive in a fuel tank. So here we've got uh, the um, AN fittings uh, welded to the tank. And on the other side we've got screw-in hose fittings so that we can attach the hose. Uh, and here we've got our bulkhead fittings, labelled positive and negative, and that allows us to provide uh, some good voltage and current uh, to the inside EFI pump. In this case it's a, a high pressure 245 litre an hour Walbro. Here we have our insulated bulkhead fittings. And as you can see, we've got a, an O-ring for sealing, and there's a small step there of half a millimetre per side. So when that's done up tight, it seals either uh, between aluminium plate, or in this particular case, uh, steel or tin plate, uh, and provides current to go through the fuel tank and not short out and provide good quality current to the inside pump. So we're almost ready for the final bolt up. We've got our bracket that's going to secure the pump uh, in location into the open swirl pot inside. Uh, we've manufactured a, a gasket with uh, Hylamar gasket dressing, which is impervious to all types of fuel and methanol. Uh, we have our bulkhead, uh, which is welded into the tank, and that's four mil thick to stop distortion. TIG welded into place, uh, and pop the lid on some button head cap screws to bolt it down, and we're ready to go. Another very important and key component of an EFI system, whether it's inside the tank or outside the tank, is a good quality hose clamp. An EFI rated hose clamp has a shoulder just underneath where the pinch bolt operates. Without that shoulder, when you do up a high pressure hose, the potential of it to pinch and relieve some of its overall pressure around the periphery of the hose is increased. But the shoulder eliminates that and gives a nice consistent clamping force right around the hose. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out our other videos on YouTube channel EFI Hardware. Also check out our website www.efihardware.com where we've got free apps now available. 